Have you had an interest in 3D printing? Just sure, not sure how to get started? Always think it's too expensive? Well, I'll tell you today how to get started for around $200 and get yourself 3D printing. See you inside. Hi, and welcome to today's video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about getting started with 3D printing. Now, I hear a lot of people talk about 3D printing, like, oh, it's too expensive, it's too technical, you gotta be an engineer to do that. No, not true at all. Anybody can 3D print. And today, I'm gonna to tell you five things you need to get started 3D printing for around $200. So, stick with me as we jump into number five. So number five is pretty simple. You just need a little bit of space. You don't need a ton of space. Printers don't take up a whole room or anything like that. You just need kind of a three foot by three foot space to be able to set your printer down about two foot tall. That way, and it can't be in your garage. It's gotta be in a climate controlled area. That's gonna be best for your 3D printer because this thing works with heat and it has to maintain certain temperatures. So the, if it is in a climate controlled room, it's gonna work a little bit better. So just a little bit of space, not a ton of space is needed for this printer. So I honestly had mine sitting on the side of my desk when I first started. Now, as you guys will see in an upcoming video, it's taken over a lot more room, but I have a lot more printers. So that's one of the things you need to get started is just a little bit of space to put your printer in a nice controlled area because you are working with heat, you are working with movement, but it doesn't have to be that big. A lot of people I see online or comments talking about 3D printing is I just don't have the space for it. Yeah, you do. It's just you need to take and put a little bit of space aside. On to number four. So number four, I'm making an assumption that you have a computer already. Most people do in this day and age, but you need to figure out your slicer. What is a slicer? A slicer is what you take to get the G code that the printer will read to print your model. It's where it's basically a piece of software where you can put your code in and put in your settings for your printer, tell it your printer size and all that stuff, adjust your model to size and different things like that. That's actually quite easy to use. Me personally, I use Cura, but most 3D printers come with proprietary software that you can use as well. So you don't have to expend any money on it which is really cool. Even Cura is free online to download and use. Now there are paid for programs like Simplify 3D and things like that that you can purchase as well if you wanna get more complicated. It's also too, if you're wanting to make your own model, Tinkercad is an awesome software that is free out there for you to make your own model, save the file, slice it in your slicer like Cura and create what you're wanting to print. There's not a lot that you have to go into it. There's not a whole bunch of engineering or technical technical math. Now, are you gonna have to work to dial in your settings? Yes, but most printers have a profile in Cura that works really well for it. So on to number three. So number three is you need to pick the material that you want to use. So for this video, we are sticking with PLA or ABS or the two type filaments I recommend. You can get really nice PLA from Inland for at microcenter.com, Inland PLA Plus, for $18.99 a spool, which is really cheap. You can get normal PA that you have to print at a little bit higher temperature for about $17. So honestly, the material is not that expensive and a spool can go a long way depending on what you're printing. So basically watching your material, choosing wisely can get you going a long way. Me personally, I like to print in PLA just because that is my preferred material. Inland is my preferred material that I use because it's what's available in my area, and it's a really strong and good material. So we've got that, we've got space, we've got our material, and we've got our slicer. Now let's move on to number two. So none of this would be complete without picking the printer. So as I said in the beginning of this video, I wanna tell you how to do this around $200. So right now on the Creality website, as this video is being made, you can buy a Ender 3 V1 for $100 and $67. And that sale is moving around. Since the newer versions of the Ender 3 came out, the V2, the prices dropped significantly. So a $20 spool of PLA and a $167 printer, factor in some tax, you're getting started for around $200. Now, that's not overly expensive to start using something that you are self-reliant. You're making your own thing instead of going to the store and paying somebody else for the same product. You're innovating, you're putting your creativity on that plate. 
what's to stop you? The Ender 3 is not that hard to operate. It's a very easy printer as long as you calibrate it correctly. And there are tons of videos all over YouTube, including on my channel, on how to get your Ender 3 to work properly. Upgrades that you can print yourself to make your Ender 3 work better. So really, for $200, you can get start, you can get going. And there's nothing to stop you once you get going. The only thing to stop you is number one, and here we go. So number one, the most important thing to this is not money, it's not the printer, it's not the material, it's not the slicer, it's not any of that. The most important thing for this to get going is you. You have to get going in this. This whole process of buying a 3D printer and all of this is your creativity, your ability to print and get going. You're wanting to be consistent, stick with it and show I can make an art of my own. I can be self-sufficient without having to pay someone in a store to make this for me. I can make it myself. And that's the whole point of 3D printing is to explore you, your creativity, and your want to be self-reliant on your own product that you can create. Now granted, 3D printing, yes, it's a trial. Are you gonna have failures? <laughs> yeah, that's life. You always have a failure, but keep going. Drive into it and keep printing. So number one is most important, you. So let's move on and let's recap. For my top five to getting started 3D printing. What you need, you need the slicer, you need the material, you need the printer, you need a space to put your printer. But overall, we need you. You need to get started. There's no better time. You can say you're not ready, but jump in. Go. Right now, printers are at a very low price, which 10 years ago, yeah, they used to be overly expensive. But like I said, for $200, you can start creating all kinds of stuff. Models, toys, home tools, all kinds of things to help you get 3D printing. And I hope you join us. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that little bell so you get all the notifications that come from the channel. And we will see you in the next adventure.